Rise. Welcome to the International Cat Show in beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. Did you see that? We're here at the IX Center celebrating everything cats. Like Rise here, who is a Bengal, is that correct? That's right, she so, is. She's very soft and that's a beautiful animal. Thank you. Thank All right, well, we're gonna look at some other cats around here. Awesome. Bye, Rise. Traditionally, a cat show is where cats compete to be the best of the best, like the best of their breed, and then the best of all breeds. Mm -hmm. um, but what we've done at the cat show here in Cleveland is we've amped it up a bit. We have performing acrobatic cats, we have cat adoptions, we have celebrity cats. Sunglass cat! I'm a huge fan! First of all, can you guess why I decided to talk to you at the cat show? Uh, I'm assuming it's the way I'm dressed. Nope, I just had a feeling about you. Some people go to the cat show, and then some people go to the cat show. And you came to the cat show, right? Right. Is this your first time attending a cat show? Yes, yes. It's mine as well. Is it what you thought it would be? It's everything and more. So who am I looking at here? This is Farrah Pawsett. And I noticed that she's a big Buckeyes fan. Huge Buckeyes fan. All right, let me see if I can get this out of her. Oh, H! Oh, no. That was you. Some people are terrified of cats and hate them. Do you, you know that, right? There's some cat prejudice out there. Why is that? They just don't know what they're talking about. So you are actually able to speak to animals? So it's actually, I'm, I'm telepathically, I know this sounds very weird, but it's, um, I'm actually having a conversation. I can literally ask them a question, get the answer, and give it back to you. What's his name? His name is McDuff. He's a Scottish fold, straight-eared. So have you ever noticed, like, he's a little goofy? He's a total goofball. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. He would say that. You look amazing. Thank you. What made you go with this? frankly, realistic and quite horrifying look. <laughs> it's a little creepy, it isn't is, it? Yeah. yeah. Is it hard to train cats? Is it harder than dogs, I assume? Uh, yes, it's much more harder to train cats than dogs. Are they as smart as dogs, but they just don't want to do our tricks? They much more smarter than dogs, but they are smart enough not to show it to everybody. You guys each have cats. What are your cats' names? What are your cats' names? Uh, Twiggy and Dee. Pumpkin and S'mores. Pinecone and waffles. Wow. That is adorable. Cat high five. Right. Boom. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> That's a great response. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed. Here's the thing. I knew that there were a lot of people who love cats. I did not know that so many people identified themselves. Like, my personality <laughs> is someone who loves cats. So yes. that was kind of interesting. That's a defining character. Like, I love my cat, but I don't know if I, like, the first thing, if you were like, hey, I'm Sarah, I'm like, I'm Mike. I, I, like I cats. love cats. <laughs> I would, they'd be like third thing down the line. Yeah. But it was actually a lot of fun, and they, man, I can't believe how many people have such, such passion for those animals. It looks like you had a great time. I did. And, I, and hi, McDuff. I just want to say hi to my cat at home. He's watching. <laughs> I put it on all the time. He's a goofball, you yep, know. Yep, he is. He's a real goofball. <laughs>